Okay, in this video, I'm going to explain to you how to do the week three should activity, which involves creating a dichotomous scheme that you could use to classify some minerals. So let's say hypothetically, you've been given all the minerals, samples of all the minerals that I've highlighted on the page, and you need to create a key so that if you picked up one of those minerals, you'd be able to follow the key to work out which mineral it is, okay? Now, I'm going to model this activity using a different set of minerals. So the minerals that I'm going to um, use in my key are the ones that I've highlighted in this table over here. Galena, malachite, bauxite, and magnetite. Okay? Now, to create that key, first of all, I'm going to use software called Inspiration. So I'm going to search for the software. That's the software here, so just click on OK. And when you get to the screen, you need to click on Diagram. Now you can see that it says by default main idea. Instead of main idea, we're going to write down the number of minerals that our key is for. Now I think you've got six minerals that you've got to uh, use in your key. In my case, I've got four minerals, so I'm going to replace that with four minerals. Okay, now I go back to my list of minerals and I look at their properties and I'm going to try and work out something that is different about some of these minerals compared to the others. So what I'm going to go with is hardness. You can see that Galena's got a hardness of 2.5, Malachite is 3.5, Bauxite is 2, and Magnetite is 6. A fingernail has a hardness of 2.5. So what that means is that there's only one of those minerals that a fingernail will be able to scratch, and that's Bauxite. All the others have got a hardness that is as high or higher than a fingernail. So that's how I'm going to start my key. So on one side, I'm going to have can be scratched by a fingernail. And if it can be scratched, now notice when I'm adding boxes, I click on this little spider looking tool over here. Okay, so if it can be scratched by a fingernail, then it must be bauxite. And by dragging the, the boxes, you can reorganize the key so it looks neater. Okay, and then on the other side of the key, I'm going to have the minerals that cannot be scratched by a fingernail. And that leaves me with three minerals on that side. So I've now got magnetite, galena, and malachite. So what I can see about magnetite is that it's magnetic. It's the only one that's magnetic. So I'm going to use that property. And the other two are not magnetic. Okay, now back to my list of properties. I now need to separate out galena and malachite. What I can see is that galena has a metallic luster, whereas malachite has a vitreous or dull luster. Now, I could have gone with color as well. Malachite is green and galena is gray. That, that would work as well. So either of these properties would be suitable. And that is galena. And this one over here is olivine. Okay, so that's my key. At the moment, it doesn't look very neat, but I can fix that up. Okay, first of all, I'm going to reorganize the, the bubbles so that um, they're looking a little bit tidier. Okay, also, I don't really like the shape of the bubbles, so I'm going to select all of them. By, uh, by clicking on Control A, I'm selecting all of them, and I'm going to change them to this shape instead. Okay, and the other thing is I don't really like the color. So instead of blue, I'm going to choose um, pink. And then I also want to make sure that the names of the, of the uh, mineral stands out more. So I'm going to select all of the boxes that have the actual names of the minerals. And I'm going to make them in a different color. Okay, so that's my key. Now what I need to do is I, if I click on Control A and then Control C, so Control A selects the whole key, Control C copies it, and then you can put it into a Word document and you can upload that Word document to Canvas. You can also save this as an image and upload the image to Canvas as well. So that's, that's what you actually need to submit to Canvas, to the Dropbox. Okay, hopefully that, that helped you out. Best of luck with your work.